she had the raw power i suppose i mean obviously you can't you see the thing is that a shri devi behind the camera before the shot starts and a shri devi when the camera is on are two different people because she does something which lights up she lights up and the the cameraman feels that and we all feel it on the set when we say cut she drops the whole uh, persona of us that i have not seen in any other artist and uh, i mean i've worked with quite a few i have not seen that in any other artist so when i asked her that and there was a shot she gave i still remember when uh, all of us clapped after the shot so she said what did i do you know those days we didn't have video video assist you couldn't check the shot so she says what did i do and it's like something comes into her it's like a cosmic uh, energy that comes into her and she does it even in a dance she is not technically as good a dancer as say madhuri or vajanti but she carries it with her face there was a tanda which uh, she is she is possessed in my film and she dances and uh, she loses control of her body and there was a particular thing that she did which was totally incredible you know so i told saroj i said did you tell her saroj says no i didn't tell her it just came so i asked her i said she said it just happened and this just happened keeps on happening all the time you know <laughs> it's not just once so it she has it in her i suppose people are born with that so there's a myth that indian film heroines just have a span for 5 6 years but she broke that myth She ruled the Indian cinema for eight days, and then on, then went on to rule it for nine days also. So, what is your say on that? No, I think Hema Malini was there for ten years. Uh, Sri Devi was there for ten, maybe longer, maybe longer because uh, obviously you can't count her when she was a kid, but she's there for a long time. And uh, see, she had an ambition when she was small that I want to be a star. When am I going to grow up? And she had no doubts that she'll be a star. so when i was shooting in chennai we would hear stories about her when she was 9 and 10 how she had no uh, uh, two minds she i'm going to grow up and i'm going to be a number one star and i'm going to be a number one star in all the languages you know so she grew up with that you know like a like a sachin at 13 is that i'm going to play cricket for india you know she was like she was like that no i met her, i met her on the sets of uh, mr india my yeah. met me i wouldn't talk to her you're not allowed to go close to her because there's there's a whole circle of don't have bodyguards those are but there are people But I used to watch her, all the big songs and all that, and I used to think that maybe one day I could be director. I didn't know six months later <laughs> I would be directing her. Sir, uh, what do you want to say about the movie Nagina? It was uh, one of the major hits in her career. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you want to say about it? How was the movie? And did she like it? See, that's that's Nagina is not the kind of movie I would make. Uh, but you have to give hats off to her that she does it with total conviction, and then she becomes uh, the, the snake and all that, you know. and the get up she used to bring out new get ups and she had a whole team so it's it's not the kind of movie i would enjoy doing or uh, maybe watching but uh, she's good at it so uh, she did all kind of uh, like she was a good actor she was good at comedy and the first time when she did comedy was in mr india when the, she did the charlie chaplin scene and then she went on to do your movie chaga where she did like fabulous comedy in your movie and then later on like uh, recently shahrukh khan said that when i was a teenager i used to like idolize for my comic timing i used to idolize shri devi for my comic timing in her movie chalgaz and in her movie mr india so uh, how do you like her, her when she is in a comic role how do i like her <laughs> i've done a comic film with her so yeah i like her in a comic role How, how is she like? What is she she's very good because it's like uh, you, you have a machine that's uh, if you press a few buttons and it does things you know which are close to perfection she she would do that but uh, she would never get uh, you know like in the morning when she would come the scenes would be given to her and when she come to the set there would be i would say they throw that away you know let's see let's go and try this uh, sometimes if you do that to an artist he or she will take a long time to redo because he's thought things and come here she would instantly do it she would like little little jokes you know when she's with sunny in the bar and drinking and all they were all improvised there so she would catch on to that and then it would be almost like a competition that okay i can do this little more do you like this you know then i would give her a suggestion so it would it was like a it was like a jugal bandi the dialogue writer kamlesh pande uh, i thought he would be upset when he would see the film the first trial because his dialogues are not there <laughs> so he said good good i like the thing that you because you wrote jalwa with me so we were friends so he said i like the way you improvised and uh, fortunately sunny would also take it up you know there is a there's a whole sequence which is not in the film which was really funny which maybe i should try and find the footage where she's a old woman and a young woman in the same uh, frame she changes it was a tricky thing to do because of length we cut that out 